Meet Bob. He's thinking of participating in a clinical trial. First off, what is a clinical trial? Clinical trials are studies or investigations that use voluntary human participants to determine the clinical or pharmacological effects of a drug. Before testing on humans, preclinical studies are done using tissue samples or animals. If the results from the preclinical studies are promising, the drug will advance to clinical trials where its dosage, effectiveness, and safety in humans will be determined. These clinical trials are held within the early phases of the drug development process before the drugs are approved and available to the general public. So, Bob, you might be wondering what does a clinical trial entail? In total, there are four phases of a clinical trial. Each phase in a clinical trial is designed to answer specific research questions which are essential to observing the interactions of the drug in the human body. Phase one of a clinical trial tests the drug on a small group of people, usually around 20 to 100 individuals, to assess the safety of the drug and appropriate dosage. Phase two involves several hundred individuals with the condition for which the drug is being developed. This phase tests for additional safety and efficacy and can last several months to around two years. During phase three, the trial opens up to a larger audience of hundreds to thousands of individuals. The goal of this phase is to confirm the effectiveness of the drug and to continue to monitor any side effects. The duration of phase three typically ranges between one to four years. Finally, phase four can only occur after Health Canada approves the marketing of the new drug. At this time, the drug is opened up to the entire population. Researchers will continue to study the benefits and long-term effects associated with the use of the drug. So Bob, now that you know the process of clinical trials, there are several factors you should consider. By participating, you would be gaining access to new drugs that are not yet available to the general public. If these drugs are effective, you'd be one of the first to benefit. You would also be contributing to medical research by improving treatment for future patients. However, keep in mind that there may be drawbacks to participating. New treatments may not always be better than existing ones and may therefore present unexpected and potentially serious side effects. The new therapy may also not be effective for some people and you may be spending more time at the hospital or study sites. So when discussing with your family and friends, make sure you weigh these factors before making a decision. But don't worry, Bob, when you participate in a clinical trial in Canada, you can rest assured that the Canadian government is actively working on protecting your safety. Not only is each clinical trial application reviewed by the government, but their processes are continually monitored. For example, the government checks that drug companies complete all necessary safety tests to reduce the risk of side effects. They visit study sites to make sure patients are monitored properly by their doctors and trials are conducted appropriately. They keep track of negative side effects as they occur and take action when needed. If there are several side effects, the government may interfere and stop the trial. More importantly, the Canadian government provides information on all phase one, two, and three drug patient clinical trials in Canada. This is updated each night, so you can make an informed decision about your participation. We hope that this helped you better understand the process of clinical trials and what it means to be a participant, Bob.